Hey guys, Broccoli Rob here. Another day, another cooking lesson. Mexican lasagna. You can make it as intricate or as simple as you want. So we tonight are going to make it simple. Chop meat. Salt and pepper. You could use chicken breast. You could use turkey chop meat. You could use chicken chop meat. Chicken breast works very well. You could use flank steak if you really wanted to get into this. Tonight I am just using plain old simple chop meat. We're going to brown this off. I'm going to show you what we're going to add to it. And it's really going to be delicious, guys. I promise you. Okay, guys. We browned off the meat. I just drained it. You don't have to drain it if you don't want to. Back in a pan. Jalapenos. Now these are the ones out of the jar. If you were going to use fresh jalapenos, then you would have to cook them into the meat while the meat's cooking. So we add a little jalapeno. Here's where you can mix it up and, and do whatever you want with it, okay? Me, personally, black beans. Can of black beans, rinsed, in. Sour cream. I got to keep this away from Teresa. Otherwise, there wouldn't be any. Tea. This is taco seasoning. That's all this is. Taco seasoning, refried beans. Mm -mm. Yeah, I know. Now, like I said, you can make this as easy or as intricate as you wanted to. You could, at this point, if you wanted to, add some corn into this. You could add some olives into this. I am not. I, this is what I am using right here. And we're going to mix all this up and see what we got. Now the difference between a Mexican lasagna and a traditional lasagna is obviously there are no lasagna noodles. We will be using tortillas. You just saw the refried beans. Instead of tomato sauce, we will be using salsa. Again, you can make your own salsa, you can buy it. It's completely up to you. However, however you feel. I'm gonna throw a little bit of salsa in there. Okay guys, I think we're ready to assemble. Guys, here we are, we have the tortillas, the salsa. You can use any kind of cheese you want. Here I have cheddar, pepper jack, and mozzarella. That's my cheese for the day. Here is our meat mixture with the black beans and the salsa and the sour cream and the refried beans. And this is going to be our, our dish. All right, so no lasagna noodles, as I said. We're just going to take one of these bad boys. Whack it, try and get it. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect. Get it down like that. Maybe pump a little bit off this side. Take another one, do the same thing. Whack it. Like that. Then we can take one of these half moons and there you go. There's your first layer. Some meat. Spread that around a little bit. OK, 
Okay. Little salsa. Believe me, I don't dance. Now you know why. This is medium salsa. If you wanted to use hot, you could use it. If you wanted to use um, regular salsa, it's, it's not whatever you want to use. Here is my combination of three cheeses: cheddar, pepper jack, mozzarella. See, guys, just like making a lasagna. Some more tortillas. Okay, and we can use up all these little pieces now. Because what the heck, it's all going to cook. There's no waste here. Piece. There you go. What else? Waste not, want not. Okay. Layers. You've all seen this before. Put that like that. Let's put these little guys over here. All right, we're going to finish off with the meat, the salsa, the cheese. When we come back, I'm going to show you what it all looks like. All right, guys, we finished up using all our ingredients. As you can see, we ended up with cheese on top. Salsa underneath that, then the tortillas. So there's about three or four different label, uh, levels. We're going to into a 350 oven for about 30 minutes, 35 minutes. And we're going to take it out and show you what it's all about. See you in a bit, guys. All right, guys, we're back. It's about a half hour later. Let's see what all the lasagna's up to. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I can dive right in that bad boy. You, mm -hmm. could, you could top it with some cilantro if you wanted to. A um, little parsley if you wanted to. Personally, me. It's done. As far as I'm concerned, it's over. It's done. Mexican lasagna, you can make it as easy as you want or as hard as you want. Like most lasagnas, it's better the next day. Now, if you want to wait till tomorrow, <laughs> knock yourself out. I personally, I'm not waiting. There it is, the Mexican lasagna. Subscribe if you want to see more things like this. You're always welcome to comment, uh, whether it be good or bad. I'm, I'm a big boy. I keep telling you that. So for my Mexican lasagna and myself, ciao now, see you next time.